Namaste. Remember me? <laughs> or you wanted to forget me, I know. Anyway, namaste everybody. Um, this is my new phone. What a nightmare, okay. Um, I'm, I'm still not used to it. Like right now, I don't even know if I'm recording. Am I recording? Oh, it's up there, okay. I don't know. I, I haven't figured it out. I'm so sorry for looking tired, but I am tired, okay? I'm going to just put you down because I need to take some vitamins. I feel like I didn't have... Oh, hello up there! <laughs> the thing is, I use I, I have a thing that was like a holder, but I can't use it because I didn't put the magnet part back in my phone. That was in my old phone, and I still have that. And I think that I'm allowed to use my old phone still like if I wanted to record yeah welcome to 5g all right I have um I'm just so tired because I was painting last night up to about two o'clock then when I tried to go to sleep it was probably 2 30 and then I woke up because my um stepson makes so much noise banging around when he's leaving around five five o'clock um, and he didn't put the dogs out, so one dog was crying, and, um, Nena was crying, and Nena got hurt yesterday, because the, the puppy, who's big juch, fell on top of her and flattens out her legs, so she was limping, and, um, anyhow, so I had to go put them out, and then I said something to myself, I said, I think that I should call up even though I hardly had that much sleep, I should call up for my job because I think there's a job for me. Because first there was a kindergarten job in one other school. And then they called me back a couple of hours later and canceled it. And I was like, what happened? Why did they cancel it? But I decided not to be paranoid because Devin told me don't be paranoid. Sometimes teachers give some somebody else a job so they have to cancel it with me. So. That's okay, because I got a job in first grade, and it was a great day. You haven't heard that from me in a long time. I do have lips, but they're chapped, and I have a little lip gloss on. But uh, I was looking for my brush in my in my, uh, new, my other pocketbook. I usually don't bring this one. It's a vegan bag. All those vegans out there, and they're pretty. But um, I needed a bigger bag to carry because I have an iPad that's not working now. I just wanted to put some like music on and I don't know if it's gonna work. It's probably not. I just wanted to put some meditation music in the background because that relaxes me. And um, I just wanted to say hello. Um, Happy birthday to my sister Karen. Happy birthday to you, even though you don't watch me, probably. Happy birthday to my Aries sister from my real mister, okay? My Aries sister Karen. My father used to call her Karen the Baron because she was very tough and um, still is. And happy birthday, Karen the Baron. My sister, my real sister, my bio sister from my real mister okay um anyhow i hope you got my birthday messages um i think you did i wrote on the board <laughs> i wrote on the board um happy birthday to my sister from our real mister and um and i erased it don't worry i erased it anyway i had a really good day I don't know if I'm working tomorrow. We're getting a bathtub installed and all walls pulled out, pipes, and I, I really rather work, um, but we'll see what happens. I have to go home and clean up a little bit. Devin cleaned up mostly everything in the, in the small bathroom. He ripped out the shelving and he didn't have to do that, but I have a, a like, you know, I want to mop the floor even though it's going to get messier. Um, I still want to mop it and make it look presentable. Um, 
yeah so I wanted to talk about that I wanted to say thank you to Rhonda for the beautiful card and necklace um, I don't have it here I have it on my windowsill getting um, charged by the moon and the sun and I forgot to put it on today I wanted to put it on today for spring and for to have a necklace I, I have my angel on today fluorite see that angel sorry about the close-up okay anyhow I think we need some Palo Santo up in this bitch am I right <laughs> okay hold on a second guys because it's awkward because I have to put you down I hope I'm recording five minutes in I think all right so I'm still here um thank you so much Rhonda I got your your gift I'm sorry that it took me a long time to go to the post office post office isn't that close but it was because I spent the weekend uh, with Verizon what am I trying to get mm. and then like of course I'm not always like comfortable sitting here uh, let me just take my vitamins guys I took some of them today I lost count and then the kids came back in the class so I was like I didn't you know, some some of them were like, "What are you eating?" I said, "I'm taking my vitamins." Um, yeah, they do ask you <clears throat> a lot of questions. Anyway, I did like a lot of like uh, things that I was proud of. Uh, for example, like I had to teach a lesson about the sun, and I had to do a chart, and I was like, "My pleasure." I love doing charts. And then I was coloring it in on my break and on my lunch hour. And then after school, I had to finish it. Uh, <clears throat> even if the teacher decides to throw it out. Hold up, guys. Oh, that's a bed. Oh, that's a bed. That is a bed. Yeah, I'll put you over here for a second. That's not a good angle either. That's crazy. I'm taking my balance of nature. Stand by, guys. Oh. What did somebody say to me once? Drink your coffee. Oh, wait. No, light your sage on your own time. It wasn't drink your coffee on your own time. Light your sage and candles on your own time and, like, just get right to the reading. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Oh, sorry about that. I'm going to make everybody dizzy. All right, guys, I really, these are so important to take. Um, and when I, I feel a difference when I don't take them. And especially since I get very little sleep. Um, so I have to take it. Okay. When I'm home, I usually sleep till 11. Okay. <laughs> Um, cause I stay up late. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but last night I was painting and then I could never fall asleep. Even with my medicine, I don't fall asleep right away. Anyhow, my point, I forget what my point was. So let me just take my vitamins and maybe my point will come in. Bear with me. One more. Hey guys, you know what I haven't done with you guys in a long time? Everything. Okay, guys, wanna see my pants? It's pants time. Okay, I haven't shown you my pants in, in how long? Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm wearing sneakers because this dude thought she was getting into the, getting to the gym again, but I I couldn't get there. I can't. It's like if I do work, even if I have a good day, 
it's so much on my body and especially there's a storm going on here so it was raining and hailing last night then it was raining and drizzling during the day and then the air conditioner was on full blast in the classrooms so all the kids were like I'm cold I'm cold so we we do this little thing that we try to get the heat to go back on um and you just constantly put your jacket back on but <clears throat> I probably should have wore long pants because, uh, you know, these pants, I'm showing my, too much of my legs. Okay, anyhow. So, namaste to Crystal Medicine. Thank you, my soul sister, from another mister, um, for that beautiful necklace. You did not have to do that because you already gave me the yin-yang necklace. And this was, this is, I will show it to you guys when, um, I do my next video from the house. Maybe it's tomorrow. Um, but anyhow, it's a heart that's rose quartz and it's really, um, special to me because rose quartz is my jam, you know, that's my stone. Devin, when we were first going out, gave me a rose quartz, um, cross and I started working in Brooklyn and it was really stressful for me because I got divorced. I started working in Brooklyn and I had to drive over the bridge and I never in my 50, when did I start working there? 48 years old um 48 what do you say who knows who knows um but I, all I know is I worked in Brooklyn for five years before we we got married and we moved to Texas but anyway I did five years in Gravesend Brooklyn and my biggest fear one of my fears in life was driving over a bridge so I had to learn that as a 50 some uh 40 something year old dude okay over here and i did i had a friend named susan and i had a friend named devin and the friend named susan um she was from brooklyn and so was devin <clears throat> my parents were from brooklyn but anyway my mother was like that too my mother never drove over the bridge because she had the same fear of bridges i'm pretty sure she didn't drive over the bridge Anyway, she learned to drive late in, later in life, um, but she, she, I think she stayed mostly on Staten Island. Anyway, I'm so tired, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but thank you so much, Rhonda, for the rose quartz crystal necklace, and oh, that's what I was saying, the crystal necklace that's a cross, um, it meant so much to me from Devin because... Um, I would always rub it and hold it and say prayers to God. And when I was driving in that car, I was like, please, God, don't let me fall off the bridge, the Verrazano Bridge. And I would get lost. I had sticky notes all over my deck. I don't I have a different car now because that car got smashed. Okay. After I brought it over to Texas, maybe a year in, got smashed up. It got totaled. So... I was just thinking about it. Her name was Sapphire. Anyway, yeah, I named my cars. This is um, Midnight Buddha. Used to have a Buddha up here. Then it got knocked off and fell down. And uh, it's probably still under my seat. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a slob in my car. Um, anyhow, what was I going to say? Uh, so thank you for that. And also, JW, Juanita... Juanita White, JW, I call you. Thank you so much. I also got your package. It's right on my desk or dine, slash dining room table. Um, and I was going to do a video and show. I, you gave me rings. You gave me necklaces. You gave me so much bracelets. You gave me so much uh, things that I could use in, on my canvases. And... Um, I thank you so much for that. That's so, it was such a beautiful gift. I know that you used to make jewelry and something with your disability and you're not allowed to do that. Um, probably there was a way, there's a way, but, um, I understand and I thank you sincerely. You gave me these interesting shapes, um, and I will show them on a video. Uh, I just have to get caught up. Um, I'm making everybody's, uh, some people didn't tell me, like, I think, um, from the winners, White Dove wanted artwork, uh, and I, I know which one, um, you told me, um, who else? 
Tracy wants artwork, and uh, I worked on yours last night. A grayish lavender. Um, I'm almost done with that. Um, but I, Mel H didn't tell me what you wanted yet, and uh, Flyer B didn't tell me if you want art or reading. And Belinda, I need the questions, um, birth dates and questions in my email um, before I can like meditate on. Oh, and Jen, Jen, Zen Jen wants Archangel Michael, and I did the background. I just have to do the gold. Okay, so I'm gonna get caught up. Everything will be all right. Everything will be fine. Aries will get their reading. Happy birthday, Karen. I love you, Karen. And then um, tomorrow is Zen Jen's birthday. So many Aries. Aries, you're very strong people, um, but you need to do self-care. You need more. Um, stop being a martyr and do self-care. Be Do stuff for yourself. Get your hair done. Get your hair did. Get your nails did. Get a manicure, pedicure. Okay? Manicure, pedicure, holiday in. You got to do things for yourself. You can't always just do things for the kids. The kids, the husband, the kids, the work, the job, the career. Um, no. Okay? Just say no. All right? And think like a Libra. Think like a Virgo. Well... I, I'm not even going to use myself as an example, but, um, yeah, I do get my nails on and, uh, they were done wrong. So now I'm not going back to that guy, that place again. They won't have my money anymore. All right. So I wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart chakra to the top of my crown chakra. Is that goofy to say to Rhonda crystal medicine and to JW Juanita Thank you so much for the, your gifts. I sincerely appreciate them. Um, okay, so. I think I talked about a lot of stuff. How many minutes am I rambling on? 17. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Um, so, I want to talk about something else. Um, and I might have to put this in the title. This might be in the thumbnail rather than just saying hello and um, letting you guys know, you know, what's up. <laughs> Epic fail at trying to be cool by saying what's up. Okay, so what am I freaking talking about? All right, there is a creator out there. I'm not going to say their name, okay? Because it wouldn't be cool. It, uh, I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to say somebody's name, but I just don't want to, I don't want to because they could, um, do something bad back, but this is just my opinion. Ugh. I'll keep talking, but, oh, you know what, Rhonda, where do you get that lighter? It's like a, a, a flamethrower, and I love the sound of it in your videos, Crystal Medicine. Where do you get that from? I love that. This, that, this doesn't light. I need that one that Rhonda has, that Crystal Medicine has. See, this is not lighting. I'm going to get upset. I'm going to get upset. Oh, boy. That's all right. It's all right, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. So, yeah. I just, I got to have some Palo Santo up in here. And it, if it's not lighting, uh, it's not good. But it's going to get good. It's going to, Statue of Liberty. All right. Come on, New York. All right, New York. New York is doing it. New York is doing it. Okay, let me turn off my... See, I got my air conditioner running and it's like blowing everything out. Okay. Yeah, let's get a fire up in here. Let's get a fire up in here. I know, I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I try to be cool. I'm not cool. I'm not mean, though. Okay.
Can you see me? Okay. <laughs> you don't need to see me, but... Okay. Let's get a nice... See, I gotta get Devin to put the metal thing back in here because I can't always hold you and hold the Palo Santo up in this biatch. Yay! Love and happiness and spirit guides and divine. Love and happiness, spirit guides and divine. Why am I saying that? Okay, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up. I promise you there's a point to all this shenanigans. Okay. Anyway, there's a creator, no biggie, but is there a biggie? Yeah, I think there is a biggie. It made me angry because there was a creator and I don't watch them anymore because of their last time that they kind of did like the dowsing rods and they kind of were like trying to give a lesson about the dowsing rods and um, basically act like they were the only ones doing the dowsing rods correctly. Okay, now P.S. I learned the dowsing rod. I never did the dowsing rods in my life till I was probably, when did I get my dowsing rods? Not too long ago. So what was I, 57, um, 56, 57? Um, electronic medium, Judy, uh, she's not the person that I'm talking about. She taught me how to do the dowsing rods. That's who I learned it from, okay? She was the first person that I ever saw do the dowsing rods and then do a reading. Um, and, you know, she does the ghost box and she did a reading. I'm sorry, I gotta like this. So you're gonna have to go over here. And I'm hoping that you can hear me. I'm hoping and praying and thinking and you know, hoping and thinking and praying that you love me. Yeah, I just really need this. I got like loads of paper and notes from students on the floor of my car. So let's hope I don't uh, turn this into a fire. Okay. But we just need the Palo Santo up in the biatch. This is supposedly HD. Okay, am I clearer? Do I look any skinnier? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, you can see, like, my hair looks like it's gray. And I don't have gray hair. But that's the... The highlights are totally washed out. So I definitely need to go professionally and get it done. I'm not going to do it to myself anymore. Okay. Anyway, this, this one out. Okay, it's okay. Everything's all right. They just told me, Katrina, it's okay. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't know why. Because it's burnt on both sides. And I'm not going to cut this one. Okay. Somebody could pick that up and play with it. Okay. I got to put the air back on. Okay. So, this is what I'm freaking talking about. So, I learned how to do the dowsing rods, which I call my dowsing rods uh, Madam Zelda. Because when I was young... Um, my father, you know, everybody in my family knew that I was psychic, I read palms, I had feelings, and um, uh, not that I was like talking to angels back then or talking to people in heaven, but they just knew I could do it in my family. Um, my mother always treated me like that since day one when I was little. She would say, read it. Um, she would say, just say anything, don't hold back. And I would just look at her and say, you will never have wrinkles on your face. You will never be old. And she would just sit there like this. Okay. More. More. What else? Like, in other words, I feel you. You're, you're saying the truth. You know, anyway, I don't want to even talk about that because it makes me sad. Um, because I miss my mommy and, um, I know she's still with me, but sometimes you just want her in person. So what's my point? My point is, 
My friggin' point is, and they don't like me to curse, so but frig is not a real curse, okay? It's just like a new New York, New Jersey thing, okay? Or my generation. Anyway, my friggin' point is that nobody should go on the internet or even on their channel and tell another reader or psychic uh, or tarot card reader um, how they should talk to spirit, how they should talk to divine, how they should talk to God. Nobody. Because guess what? Last time I checked, nobody else was inside my head except me. Not another reader, not another person on the internet that doesn't, never even spoke to me, that never even answered any of my messages or comments or emails. Uh, you don't know me. You don't know what kind of gift I have. You don't know what kind of gift other people have. So don't say this particular person said that when people readers or she was kind of like dissing some people kind of dissing them and saying that maybe they weren't readers or mediums or psychics and they were just saying that they were talking to spirit or talking to spirit guides and that they were totally wrong in that they were talking to dead people and the people that they were talking to are just dead and they have nothing to do with divine. But guess what? Guess what? You're wrong. All right? You're wrong. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Okay. People, readers, and even just average person that lost somebody. Like I talk to Shanann all the time. All right? Does Shanann know everything about God? Of course she doesn't. She was a regular person. I never said she knew all about God's plan. The archangels, they know about God's plan. You call them, they will come. Okay? That is a true research it. They call, you call them, anybody calls them, please Archangel Michael, protect me. I'm about to have a car crash or somebody's about to stab me. Uh, Archangel Michael, please protect me. Please come. Okay? In some way, shape, or form, Archangel Michael will help you. You might say, well, I still got into an accident, Katrina. Okay. All right. But maybe we wouldn't, you wouldn't be texting me or commenting because you would have been gone had you not asked God to protect you or Archangel Michael to come. So I just don't like it. I just feel disgusting and I had to say something and I don't fight. I don't get into the drama. I don't. There was a time where I did. I fell into it um, halfway um, and then I pulled myself out of it because I don't want that. I don't take, I don't um, do the crime cases for any kind of money. Uh, anybody who's asked me, if families asked me, families don't even ask me, reach out to me. I just do it because I'm led by divine. I'm led by God. I don't even like to say divine. I just like to say God because you know what? You don't have to put fancy labels on anything. I sometimes I want to, I do talk to my spirit guides. My spirit guides tell me, you know, um, I, you know, I dox myself. My name is Kathleen. Okay. Katrina is my YouTube name. All right. Big deal. Who cares? Right. So sometimes I'll, I'll hear, no, Kathleen, don't do that. You know, Kath, go to bed. You have to go to bed now. So I know it's not my voice, but I think it, I hear it in my voice, but then it's, it has a little change to it. It has a little determination to it. Never judgment, never any kind of judgment. So just by telling people that they're talking to dead people and kind of invalidating who that, that they're talking to God and they're reaching out to God and they're trying to help people from the kindness of their heart and not their pocketbook, okay? Not their vegan... Not their vegan bag. Okay. It's just, you, you can't tell people who they hear and who they're talking to and kind of indicate, low-key indicating that they're kind of talking to a negative energy and that 
um, dead people don't know anything. They're just dead people. How dare you? Don't, don't talk like that. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Yeah. The boxing gloves are on. Or the boxing gloves are off. I don't care. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, you are entitled to your opinion, but you're giving out the wrong information. The wrong information, sweetheart. Okay? Um, it's very dangerous and you've done it before. You've said things like that before to invalidate. Oh, people are using the dowsing rods in the incorrect way. Unless you're Benny Keys and, you know, uh, making a mockery with the uh, tinfoil hat and, um, you know, making a mockery of psychics and people who are uh, trying to get answers for missing and for... Um, uh, the missing and the, uh, murdered. I just, I, you know, like, don't do that. It's not nice. It's, it's, it's very judgy. It's very ego based. Check out, you know, Google, uh, the three stages of, of your ego. Um, you know, read a little Freud, uh, little, little Piaget. Uh, I'm sorry. Not sorry. Don't do that. You don't know who's psychic and who isn't. And, you know, maybe may, maybe people could say you're not psychic or maybe you say you're not psychic. But that doesn't give you the license to go out and make a few videos about this is how you do the dowsing rods. And if you don't do them this way, then you're, you're a jerk. You know, then you're not talking to spirit. You're not talking to divine. Uh, only me and my, uh, this one other person that I'm friends with can, you know, do the dowsing rods correctly. No, no, anybody could do them. Okay, yes, you should meditate. You should talk, try to talk, ask God to protect you and your family and, and anybody who watches your videos. And you should try to um, always come from a good place from your heart. And I do that. Why am I saying this? Why am I, um, you know, without mentioning the creator's name? Well, I'm saying it for anybody who watched your video and another video that you did that was very denigrating to readers out there and of, of which many of which I have spoken to about it. Okay, so I can't let you take a pass on it. I can't, uh, anytime you do it, I'm going to do my own video and other people I know will do theirs because you know what? My spirit and my spirit guides is my friggin' business. Okay. Yours is yours. I never would say, Hey, listen, this person, uh, isn't really talking to spirit. They're just, you know, they got their Patreon going. They got their snap, um, you know, their whatever. Okay. Um, I, I think you started out, you know, in a very good place, but then became very um, judgy and ego-based against other readers. And you know what? You can't do that. And may, maybe you can do that because this is America, but you know what? You're not going to get away with it and just nobody uh, say anything back to you because you're so beautiful, Okay. You could be beautiful, but you're wrong, okay? You could be beautiful and wrong, okay? It's happened to me, <laughs> Okay, but you know what? Be a big person and realize that you can't tell people. You can't tell readers and tarot readers and even like scrolling through pictures of like Matt Frazier. Matt Frazier is famous for talking to spirit and talking to divine and talking to God and helping millions of people. Okay. Talk to the people that Matt Frazier has helped or they, they have felt that he has helped. Okay. You can't tell people that they are not talking to God. They are helping people in their own way and you are helping people in your way. Okay. Same as me. All right, but I take issue when you try to tell people this is how you do the dowsing rods in a, in a condescending way. All right, I already learned how to do them.
okay? I have a brain, I have a third eye that's activated, and I don't need the dowsing rods, but I use them sometimes as a tool. I use the, the tarot cards as a tool, okay? Anything I do, it's, you know, in addition to, and in addition to God talking to me, my spirit guides who are very, very close to me and who have helped me. I almost died several times. I almost killed myself. And my spirit guides, my angels, I am in touch with. And God, of course, didn't let me die. Okay, so be careful when you try to tell people who they're talking to and see that you're, you're putting them down. You're putting people, and this this is why I wanted to come out with this with this read now, 35 minutes in, it's okay. Because there's a whole bunch of newbies, there's a whole bunch of new tarot card readers, new uh, psychics, new mediums, empaths, that are just opening up and they're just starting their channel, or they're just even watching people. And they watch you, okay? You got... Uh, way more than me. I, I only have 4,000 and I've been around since 2019 and I've been a around the psychic world since, you know, I was 26. Okay. 58 over here. So that's many, many years. And really I've been um, reading palms since I'm eight years old. Okay. So I think I know a little bit about what God's trying to tell me, what my angels are telling me. And I know it's different. There's a difference between angels and a spirit guide. A spirit guide is somebody who was on the physical earth. Okay. I know that. I know that anybody can Google the difference, but don't put anybody down. These newbies, these new people, these new spiritual, um, and you, and you spoke about people's spiritual awakening, don't speak about people's spiritual. Your spiritual awakening is for you. Your experience was how you had it. Everybody experiences it in a different way. Okay. Um, it's like you were putting people down. Okay. And if I was misunderstanding you, I don't think so. I spoke to several people about it. So I'm not trying to chastise you, but I'm just trying to say, be aware that these new people are coming about and they they love you they you know you got 20,000 subs and they're like oh you know this person must be the best so let me listen to them and then they listen and they're like oh my gosh I've been talking to have I been talking to the devil I've been talking to the wrong people I'm not talking to divine I, I'm gonna fold this up I'm not gonna even do any more readings because I don't know who I'm talking to maybe I'm not really a psychic. Maybe I'm not a reader. Maybe I'm not an empath. Maybe I'm not good enough to do this work because this person who I admire that has 20,000 freaking subs said that. Okay. Said that I'm talking to dead people and they're not related to God in any way. It's not good. Okay. So do you understand my point? I'm sure you won't even watch my video, okay, because <laughs> you don't like me or whatever. I don't care. I am t saying this to anybody who watched your video and might be discouraged and might feel bad because I'm going to tell you right now, I felt discouraged. If you want to bring somebody up and, and say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I'm saying all this because I love you, okay? I didn't feel the love. I did not feel the love. I felt like you were chastising me. Um, maybe you feel like I'm chastising you. And if, it, if if you feel that way, I'm sorry, but I am a teacher, okay? And I'm a, maybe I'm a lot older than you or a little bit older than you. Doesn't matter. I would say this to somebody who was 80 if they did a video like that, a second video, okay? Um, what I'm saying is please try to be more free-spirited and be more careful in what you say to the light workers of tomorrow, the light workers of now, the people who are starting channels. And I'm sorry about the burp, okay? <laughs> I had a long day. Um, but anyhow, just, you know, 
if you're trying to spread positivity or you're trying to raise the vibration or make people feel happy or secure um, or you're just trying to teach them a lesson that's your lesson maybe maybe in your mind you see it that way and that's okay that's cool you go that way your your friends and your co-workers or or people you deal with let let them think that way but other people we we all take information I mean as a teacher I know there's one kid that you could just tell them something and they process it really quickly and they they know it the next day then there's other kids they they can't learn it by writing they can't learn it by you telling them they they can only learn it by seeing it visually by watching a video by watching a movie by by watch listening to auditory okay everybody's a different learner and so everybody is a different psychic or empath everybody is a different vibration in in their work okay so by saying such a harsh thing about that's not spirit guides are not divine okay you know maybe logistically you might be correct in a way but be very careful stop trying to tell people you're doing it all wrong or you know you're not connecting to the right divine and because that's putting you up here and and everybody else down there and uh somebody who's very very sensitive was starting out and you know doesn't have the bounce back like me or other people they might be like oh shit i did everything wrong i'm gonna forget this i'm gonna wrap this up i'm not doing this anymore i was wrong about everything okay so that's all i wanted to say and it it, it took a while um accept it or say f you um or just you won't even watch it but I said that for the people that were upset from what you said in your second video okay uh, first one was the dowsing rod lesson which was condescending um, <laughs> and the other one was about spirit guides just being dead people okay not good not cool okay namaste